Some of the most frequent comments we see in, on our videos are comments that seem to confuse emotional support animals and therapy dogs or therapy animals. We want to clarify the differences between therapy animals and emotional support animals because they are two different jobs that animals can do for humans. This is important because each type of animal category comes with some different privileges and requirements for both the owner or handler and the animal. First, let's start with what therapy animals are and what their purpose is. As you can see here, therapy dogs, like our toffee, are a type of working dog. Their job is to give other people, not their owners, attention and love to help improve their mood, reduce stress, and overall improve the lives of people around them. A therapy animal and their owner or handler volunteer to visit places like schools, hospitals, and nursing homes. Therapy animals have basic obedience training, but they are not service animals. This means that therapy animals are not allowed to enter public places like restaurants, planes, shopping malls, or any other public places unless specifically invited because they are not properly trained to behave in those environments. Service dogs are specially trained to help their owners with a specific job like guide dogs, PTSD dogs, seizure alert dogs, and diabetic alert dogs, among many other types of service animals. As you can imagine, service animals have special privileges to go into public places that other dogs do not have. It is very important not to try to pass an untrained dog, a family pet, or even a therapy dog off as a service dog, because if that dog misbehaves or causes problems, it hurts the legitimacy of actual service dogs. If you want a better explanation of one type of service animal, check out Molly Burke if you haven't already. She uses a guide dog in her day-to-day -day life and makes videos explaining all about how her dog helps her as a service animal. I'm trying to link to her channel below. Here, you can see our therapy dogs in action while they were still active before the potato that changed things a few years ago and forced us to all to stay home for a few years. You can see that therapy dogs have a very specific purpose, and while they can make their owners happy, when they're working, they're supposed to focus on the other people around them. Our dogs are currently retired from therapy dog work because we have not had the time to keep up with the training required to certify them. This is actually very similar to most working dogs in that they might only have a limited time they can safely and effectively do the job they have been trained for. Therapy dog work is less intensive, but it still requires a medium amount of training to be successful, so not every dog can be a therapy dog. Another protected type of animal are emotional support animals, or ESAs. ESAs have a different job than therapy dogs, despite the very similar sounding names. All ESAs need to do is exist, which helps their owners feel more emotionally stable. To get an emotional support animal, all you need is a doctor to prove that you need this animal in your home to maintain your own emotional state. This doctor's note protects the owner from having their dog taken away or being denied housing by their landlord because of their animal. You don't need a paid certificate from a website and you don't need any special equipment to have an ESA. It is important to remember that having an ESA does not mean you can bring your dog anywhere you want. ESAs are not permitted in restaurants unless they are dog friendly for everyone on airplanes, in the cabin, or in any other public places that dogs would not normally be allowed. Just like therapy animals, ESA do not have any special privileges because they are not specially trained to safely operate in public spaces. Any dog, cat, lizard, frog, or other animal can be an ESA. Like we mentioned, not every dog can be a therapy dog. Not every animal can be a therapy animal so you can start to see the differences between these two categories of animals. Only dogs with calm, friendly temperaments and good basic obedience training can be therapy dogs like Ignac and Toffee. Therapy dogs do need to pass certification tests to remain therapy dogs. If these dogs do not maintain a certain level of obedience, then they would no longer be able to do their jobs as therapy animals. Here, you can see some of the skills therapy dogs need to learn or display in order to be certified as therapy dogs. If you'd like to watch Eggnog's entire certification test, you can watch the video we made of that via the links provided. It is important to note here that while you do need to display a certain level of competent obedience skills, you do not need to be perfect at every skill in order to pass certification, at least with our therapy dog organization. 
We feel that the dog's temperament is the most important sign of a successful therapy dog team. If your dog is not friendly and calm, then they will not be able to safely greet people or work with other therapy dog teams on visits, so they might not be good therapy animals. Hopefully, you can see the difference between these three categories of animals and what purpose therapy animals, service animals, and emotional support animals each serve. It is very important not to confuse these three types of animals so that actual service animals and their owners and handlers do not face unnecessary discrimination when just trying to live their lives because other people have abused the protections of service animals by bringing their untrained pets into public places where they are not prepared to be. We hope that you have enjoyed this explanation of therapy dogs, ESAs, and service animals, and we hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to be kind to animals and spay and neuter your pets.